Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Volcano AC and in this episode I'm gonna be cleaning my 1989 PV Tracer 2. Like I showed you a couple of episodes ago I purchased some uh, guitar care products so that I can remove uh, all this um, yuckiness out of the guitar and look over here I don't know if the zoom is able to capture that but it's uh, not only dirty but uh, super dusty I'm gonna change the strings um, I'm gonna open up as well the electronics just to see how they are actually I would really love to keep the original pickups just because it's gonna truly give me that 80s vintage sound however if they're in very bad condition then I'll replace them we know they work because we tested them a couple of episodes ago but uh, the very first thing I'm gonna do of course is remove the strings and I have my string unwinder here that I got uh, from music uh, uh, Norma through Sweetwater the other day this is not a sponsored video so like I said I am going to first um, take the strings that are about 20 years old right now then I'm gonna clean a little bit the neck with this F1 unfinished fretboard care kit once I finished um, cleaning it up I am going to put some painter's tape in the neck to kind of uh, work and try to repair the fret sprout because as you can imagine the guitar has been under very dry conditions in Europe and uh, you can feel a little bit of fret sprout what's fret sprout for those that don't know is not that the frets grow by any means it's just that because it's dry then the neck because it's real wood it uh, dries out so um, it basically becomes a bit smaller not super small but just a little bit and then you can feel the frets over here but it's not huge in this side and it's a little bit more uh, uh, in the other side remember this is a right-handed guitar but I have it to the left hand so because I'm left-handed guitar player and after I have covered it with the painter's tape and work a little bit on the frets then I'm gonna kind of clean it again just to uh, have it nice and shiny I am ready to open the electronics and see how they look like I'll show them to you um, I don't have a, a solder so I'm not gonna be trying to pretend that I know that I know what I'm doing because actually I've never done this before <laughs> so uh, I'll just do whatever I can here to care for my guitar it, I just get super happy when I have this guitar with me and I'm doing something with it if it's not playing at least caring for it then I'm gonna do some uh, fret polishing and uh, finally I'm gonna try to use the guitar detailer right here and uh, see how it comes out and um, at the end I'll see what's missing probably put my new strings and um, I don't know if I'm gonna need the guitar one for gloss finishes product but we'll see how it is and if it needs a touch here or there and go from there okay so I am ready to start working on my PV Tracer 2 from 1989 let's start all right so here we are the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unwind here the strings over right here so you can see it nicely Uh, 
feels good. Check it out. Very rusty. I have to uh, change that or try to get the rust out, which is gonna be pretty tough. So All right, now that we have removed the strings, we opened the guts a little bit and we found out that uh, it's a little bit rusty, but like I say, I can't solder it right now, so uh, I'm gonna have to leave it here. The controls could be worse. The electronics, a little bit rusty as well, but that comes with uh, the age. Still looks in pretty good shape though so I'm gonna leave it as is um, looking to the neck it's not perfect but could be worse so let's um, start with our unfinished fedbore care product So, I'll call it clean now. Look at this. After 20 years, uh, this is as clean as it's gonna be. It's 
So now I'm ready to put my painter's tape. Okay, so here it is. We have our fretboard. Um, really nice cover with our painter's tape. And I know it looks like Frankenstein, but that's fine. The main thing is that I'll be able to work on the kind of sharp edges and go from there. Okay. Start from the top and pay attention that I'm not gonna do it super hard, just a little bit. Oh, yeah, Ooh. smooth it out right away. Alright, so it's feeling pretty good now, hopefully um, the fret sprout uh, it's over and um, now it's time to polish the frets, so we got here a kit for that and this uh, cloth as well to remove it, any excess. So, frying fret polishing. Let's go. Polished, and I give a very good clean up at the very end to remove any excess of any solution. But look at that, it's already shiny, it's not pointy anymore, so we're doing great progress. Let's continue clean up of the neck to clean some excess. Polishing solution as well. Painter's tape did a good job, but um, there's always a little excess that escapes. Perfect. So we are where we need to be, and now we move to the next which should be guitar polishing, how about that? Well, I'm between the guitar polish and the guitar detailer for matte and gloss finish, restores and maintains. So I need to restore, so I'll be restoring right now. So let's start using this little guy over here.
Okay, so let's clean now the back of the neck here with our guitar polish to restore and maintain the guitar. Has been doing a really great job on the dirty areas of the guitar and now you see here all right so it's looking way better right now uh, it's nice and clean I removed a lot of the dirt uh, now I'm just uh, making sure that I'm removing all the leftover product and remember, this is uh, just a cleanup. By no means, this guitar is gonna be new. <laughs> it's 33 years old. Maybe I was able to bring it 10 years younger, but not more than that. And then we have our the guitar one for gloss finishes, and we'll see uh, what's this guy doing. I'm sorry, kill because I already put the. Uh, uh, detailer but we have it let's see what it does oh it smooths it out a little bit that's good I like it And if you see here, I could probably change this knob and position so that it, it's truly for the left-handed guitar. Uh, but I will need to remove this original knot with uh, probably heating it up with a hair dryer, and then. Uh, either putting the other way around and gluing it but that's not something I want to do right now so I'll leave it as it is for now and I'll start putting the strings strings that we got the Dario NYXL 1052 okay the Lord. Here for me will be the first stop one. getting there nice final clean up before I put the strings who knows when I'm gonna clean this again like that Okay, so start with the lorry.
Okay. So like I mentioned before, I need to get rid of this extra string area. So let's go. So now for this uh, final portion, just to see how it sounds after the cleanup. I didn't change the pickups or anything. Basically, I would like to have it as much as original as possible, unless the pickups really don't work anymore, then I'll change them. But in the meantime, I'll keep playing with this and let's see how they sound. I will use my angle amp on the high gain channel. It's gonna come um, through um, this angle cabinet over here with two vintage 30s and I will move the switch from the um, uh, <clears throat> bridge to the neck and in between as well just to see how it sounds. I had to increase a little bit the noise gate on the angle amp when I use my more modern guitars there's not so much noise but with this vintage PV Tracer 2 guitar I had to definitely uh, use uh, way more of the noise gate in the back of my angle amp okay so let's see how it sounds All right, and to finalize, I'll also use the clean channel of the angle Fireball 25 amp through my Vintage 30 with uh, two by 12 speakers. But now I turn on my Ocean's 11 reverb and I have it in the hole and just a little bit, just for the sparkle. Alright, so if you like this video, smash the like button and for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.